Well, Rebecca Toby started with us early on, almost from our very beginnings. Um, she and her late husband, Jean Toby, were a, a duo that took the Southwest by storm as far as uh, sculpture is concerned. And she does some painting and sculpture and um, has been one of our largest artists um, throughout the 20 years. Um, she's very important as an artist and has a huge number of collectors. And lately she's been expanding her art um, into glass and ceramics. It almost evolved with how things have gotten more contemporary and more colorful. And she's right on the cutting edge of all of that. It's really just amazing. When I was in high school, I asked my high school art teacher whether I should major in art. I was trying to figure out what to do when I grew up. And she looked at me and she said, no, Becky, even though you love to do art, you're not that good. Don't major in art. So I went on to college and I majored in theater. I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in theater arts. And I did big art, scenery, sets, stagecraft, props, that sort of thing. So I always did art, um, artsy craftsy projects as my children were growing up. Then I got a divorce and um, two years after my divorce I met and married the most wonderful man in my life, Gene Toby. And he said, what do you mean your high school art teacher said you weren't good enough? That's ridiculous, come and join me in the studio. And then as the years went by, I be began to contribute more and more to the work. In 1987, he said, so let's put your name on this work, and the collaboration was born. It became Gene and Rebecca Toby from that point on. And one of the things that I love more than anything in the world is to do my ceramic sculptures. And that was definitely a gift that my husband gave me, teaching me how to do the ceramics and how to do them well, how to fire them. Um, and as the years have gone by since his death, so rather than doing um, storytelling the way that he and I did as a collaborative team, I'm doing cutouts and paintings of elk and hummingbirds and butterflies and things like that, taking it as far away from, my, uh, from the Native American aspect as I possibly can. And it's a way of honoring the Native Americans. All of the symbolism happens at the moment that I'm creating it. The, the moment occurs when I'm looking at the piece and I go, oh, let's, let's put a white-tailed deer there. Maybe let's put a river there. Hey, how about if we put fish jumping out of the river? So I'm starting to play more and more with um, landscapes on the pieces and telling more of a story that, in that direction. As a three-dimensional artist, to take a, an image and, and turn it into a painting um, a three-dimensional painting which wraps all the way around the sculpture is an interesting concept. It's not something that a lot of painters are able to do. They can, they can only think in w one dimension, one-dimensionally as, as, a, as a painting. Um, but here we have all three dimensions and even cut holes in the surface so that you've got an interior dimension as well. Is that the fourth dimension? I don't know. <laughs> the bear is this wonderful cuddly thing. They're also a powerful image. They're a very, um, symbolically, they're a very masterful uh, animal. People talk about the power of the bear, the soul of the bear, the strength of the bear. And I think that trying to capture that in a work of art is an important effort. I, I love the process of creating. I love the evolution of the work. As I go to the studio every day, each piece has to be better than the last in my mind. And so I push myself on a daily basis to create new, exciting art every single day. So no two are the same. Exposures Gallery is one of the most breathtakingly beautiful galleries I've ever been in. And I know galleries because I've shown all over the country. I tell all of my friends, I tell all of my collectors, wherever I am, have you been to Exposures Gallery in Sedona? You'll never believe how beautiful it is until you go. Exposures is the biggest gallery that houses my collection. They represent every single piece that my late husband and I created together. They have all of the jewelry, all of the paintings and prints. They have the bronze and ceramic sculptures. They've got the monuments. They've got it all.